Welcome back to three pound fishing, baby. And the new view, this whole view will be done in this first person perspective. We're starting this day off by filling up the gas tanks. I've got an interesting little device here that I've been using for about a year now. It's called a siphon hose. It makes the process of filling up gas so much easier. When you live on a lake, you don't have the ability to go to a gas station unless you want to pay crazy prices. So a lot of us will truck down five gallons at a time. In this case, it'll be 10 gallons and we fill her up. Well, maybe not fill her up, but we get some gas in the boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Today we're going to be uh, fishing for these fish shallow. It's early in the morning. Like I said, high about 35, so super cold for right now. It's obviously, you know, well, it's not super cold for now, really, but it is definitely a turn on the temperature from what we've been having. Now, we've been having a great time out here on the lake lately. It's been incredible. So fishing's been really good. So guide trips, if you are interested in a guide trip, get a hold of me at 3poundfishing at gmail.com. And, uh, or you can even call me at 618-694-5162. Um, the time is now really winter. These fish are feeding up for the spawn. It, the, in my opinion, the spawn process starts now. I mean, in regards to fish getting big, it is a great time to come on a guide trip. And we don't worry about the, you know, if the wind is bad, if it's super cold, we just reschedule. So it's really easy, but we're gonna get out here. We're gonna be one of the very few boats on the water and uh, have a great time. I always put that Garmin Livescope in the water, extremely soft, because I don't want it to have the compass airs that you see a lot of people experience. You experience that when you put that in the water extremely fast. And there's gonna be our view for the day. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Went out fishing with Marcus last night and we had a ball. I expect good things today. And there's our first fish. Little school to just come by if you look at the screen. You know, you have to kind of be quick because these fish are moving in and out of the shoreline. This is a really solid fish. And uh, we're gonna keep him, we're gonna keep some fish. We're gonna keep some for the fish fry, but that is a solid fish. And that's just from this school coming in really quick. And that's what you're doing. And these winter times, I mean, it is a quick action. It is a drop here, pitch out there, uh, scenario on my lake uh, so you have to be ready to go all, always and being able to manage that uh, 10 footer is a huge deal but that's our first customer on three pound fishing and comes a customer right there Let's see if he follows through with it yep all right I just caught a good fish right here folks look at this guy again just really just following these schools around see how there's just a ton on the that's a that's a tank right there just following these schools around these should be pretty good fish here and of course i lost my paddle tail so we're gonna see if we can just do it with a little nub on the back and there's one right out of that pack again oh and he's a good fish boy look at him pull look at him pull all day long folks now we aren't we aren't fishing with a split shot right now. Uh, the reason why is I just like the presentation being a little shall, uh, slower. And I like the idea, since we're fishing shallow, you have time to react to the bait as it goes down. Those are my two main reasons. But uh, you know, a lot of times on the trails, we don't fish, well, you fish so shallow, you can't, you, you can't have a split shot sometimes. And so, you do have to learn how to see it without that split shot. But again, that's my probably my favorite overall method with a split shot. Makes it easy to see it. Look at these guys, they're gonna come right at it, boy. I'll speed it up and play it. Sometimes I'll bring it down to them. See, see this guy here? Trying to do whatever I can to entice that bite. Didn't work that time though. They do not want that bait sitting still, that is for sure. They want that bait moving, and I think that the paddle tail is the ticket right now for sure. Oh, I hope you guys saw that. That was <laughs> that was awesome. That was flat awesome. I want to 
uh, invite everybody again I'm gonna talk about it for a while now is the live scope everything you need to know on Facebook I want everybody to go over there check it out look at that pile check check live scope everything everything you need to know it is a great group on Facebook I'll put the link up here above and um, that's what we're looking for right there folks hopefully they stick around yep look at that There's our customer. Not a bad fish. We're gonna let him go. We only want the biggies. I focus a lot of my energy on the fish that are near the weed edge. This group is just right on the weed edge, really. I mean, and um, usually the ones that are in the dirt are the ones that you're gonna want they just tend to be I don't know what it is but they tend to be bigger and and more aggressive all these electronics you're seeing in front of me let's talk about that real quick is the that's the 8600 series we talk about that that's a 16 inch screen you're seeing right there 16 inch screen now it's not for the faint of heart in terms of price no doubt about it but I'm gonna tell you right now you think it's big when you first get it now it just seems it's just your standard just your standard monitor for me and uh, there's a lot of guys getting bigger monitors now yeah we got hooked up right there that's good fish of course all these electronics you guys check out uh ptg they'll hook you up loving our setup right now on our boat to be quite honest with you i don't know of anything better the, the mounts are cornfield uh fishing gear cornfield fishing gear you guys check them out um great customer service from all these guys you know that's the key really look at this guy he's gonna is he gonna touch it let's see no this is me just dropping down because i see a school and there's the jig and all i did was a, it's a quick drop down and they you know if they're in the mood for these there i got them if they're in the mood for those drop downs it's 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 extremely powerful um good fish big fish um i don't you know, some days they are, some days they aren't. This could be the big fish right now so far. That is a big fish. Awesome deal. But that's that's what I'm talking about. When I talk about, like, quick actions when you're in the boat, you know, you're casting to them, and again, that's your play, but a lot of times these fish are going to be moving around, and, and I always got my hand on my braid. Sniping braid is incredibly sensitive. So this, this guy just touches it. He didn't touch it. I will feel it. So I'm a big proponent of braid. Sniping braid is the brand that I use. All right, so we're crushing it right now. Um, pretty much almost every cast it appears. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try something else. Typically, these fish have been on fire on this monkey milk, uh, blue, blue monkey milk on my website. We're gonna, we're gonna actually put a hair jig on. Now, why am I changing up with hair jig? I, you know, when I when the fish are biting, is when I want to try as many bite baits as I can, and I want to see if there's a turn off on certain baits. And in this case, I really just want to see if a hair jig can get get it done just as well. Sometimes that's not the case. Believe it or not, um, they're looking for. So I'm going to go with this guy right here. And in this process, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the loop knot. I've had a couple people ask me online what kind of knot you use. And if you've been following three pound fishing, I've been doing these a lot. So just throw it through the eyelet, grab it right there, twirl it around like that, grab that jig and stick it back through the hole that you were holding and created. There's the gob of stuff, right? And you're just gonna tight, seize that down, tighten that down, just like that. And that's a pretty good loop knot. And there's a lot of ways to do loop knots, more efficient, all that stuff, but that's the way I do it. And that's what we're gonna fish with. And all these hair jigs, not this one in particular, but a lot of these hair jigs are available on the website. And if you are before Christmas, they're on sale. Now this is gonna be the first cast with this hair jig, and it is gonna tell us a lot. All right, we have a really good cast in here now. There it is sitting on top. We're just seeing if anything's, is it gonna attract anything? It does attract one. And first cast, we catch a good fish too. 
Look at that guy pull. This is going to be a big fish. This is going to be a big fish. Could be a bass. It is a bass. So maybe the hair jigs catch bass. I don't know. Look at that. All right. No big deal. We're going to do it again. Okay. We did have some action, so that was intriguing. So we're throwing right back in there. I can already tell you I would have caught a couple of fish if I had a plastic on right now. At least that's the way I feel. Or I need a different color for this hair jig. They are drawn to it, but they do not want to take it, so it's coming off. They are just stacked up on that little hillside. Here we go. And there's our first fish. Easy peasy, right? So what we do is we go around it. We go around it and we try to get on the back side of it, which sometimes is not easy to do. All right, so then there's a school. There's a school that probably lifted off from one of these uh, weed edges. So you can find these schools. There it is right there. And they tend to be pretty active as well. Um, so we're gonna give one, this one here a shot. There I am falling in. And they're just coming from basically the same spot we've been fishing. And here comes a guy. Yep, and he took it right off the bat. Look at that. That didn't take long. Good fish, too. Really good fish. We just hammer them here, folks. It's just how it is today. It's been this way lately. It's been incredible. Look at that fish. That is just a pig. There's a weed edge right there. And the weeds are actually still there, but there's a lot of fish in that first five, six feet of it that I'm targeting. So I'll keep the bait up really high. And we didn't have success there. Might've been a bad throw, but I saw a ton of fish there and they were gone. Unless that's them right there. That's probably them right there. So we're gonna... Being efficient with your uh, your cast is huge. I understand the easy thing to do right now is you can go, you know, 20 feet past your target. But I'm telling you, when you're doing this kind of fishing where the fish are moving around constantly, you have to be extremely efficient. Oh, he did hit that. You have to be extremely efficient with your cast. You want that bait to be falling right where it needs to be falling because you don't have time to bring a bait back in. These fish will have moved by that point. So doing this type of fishing does require uh, knowing where, what 20 feet is. See how I just put it right in front of their face and here they come, boom, and he got it. And that's another good fish. So it's being really efficient, super efficient with your casting. And this is a pig. This guy is definitely eating up. Look at that. Look at that fish. Look at the belly on that fish. Look at the absolute thick back, massive belly right there. So here's a school that's moving around. They're actually coming in at us and just quickly are they coming in on us. Boy, are they coming at us quick. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hmm. There was more left over here. That might be the same school we've been following. They're just going back and forth and around this. Look at this, good night. What a great day, man. And there's the fish right there. Nice and easy. I hope you guys enjoy this view. We're gonna be talking about that some more. But, and so I'm gonna take you to the cleaning station now and show you, that's a good fish, but we're letting them go. All right, great take today, man. It was, um, I haven't been out there very long, and I said, you know, that's good for me, but we got some good, fantastic fish. Hope you guys can appreciate the size of all these. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you coming with me today. Big fish was probably around 175, this guy right here, about 175, about the same here for this guy. Uh, all these guys are just solid fish though. 
Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Please subscribe and don't forget about the Live Scoop, Live Scoop group on Facebook. Uh, everything you need to know. Check it out, folks. Seriously, great day. I actually had some success. Didn't show much of it, but I actually was using crappie formulation there from the original fish formula. Make sure you tell them three pound fishing sent you. Helps me out and uh, certainly helps them out. This is a great product. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.